The closer you look, the less you see. These came out sideways, so that's now near future energy. And then, why so serious? Hmm. They're here. The closer you look, the less you see. Why so serious? So, someone may think something is funny. Someone may think that something is a joke. But they may be looking a little too close. It's like they can't see the forest for the trees kind of energy. Someone could be at a distance from you. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Honeymoon phase or attending someone's wedding. Someone may be closing the gap with their here. Someone may show up unexpectedly. Maybe surprise you with something. Something may not have seemed so serious at the time, but someone someone may be wondering why you're taking yourself so seriously or taking a situation so seriously. Someone may want to just laugh, love, joke around with you. Honeymoon phase. Someone wants to be in that honeymoon phase with you, but there's a distance or a gap. This could have been due to some sort of misunderstanding that happened. I'm right, not getting anything else out of there. care someone does care about you cancer energy could be significant someone does care maybe you didn't think that they cared about you but someone really does care they care about what happens to you they care about mending a relationship or healing a relationship if you've been emotionally distant from this person they want to make something better somebody may have just acted out of fear maybe because somebody was scared so there may have been an emotional distance because somebody was scared, possibly of their feelings. Uh, they didn't want something to change. Adaption. Maybe they're not good with change or adaption. So there was someone here who was afraid of a change or making a change or something changing, a situation changing. You have some confidence going on. Someone likes your confidence or you could be admiring someone else's confidence. They like how you take care of yourself. You could be showing the world your colors, like peacock. You know, you could be, um, you know, bringing attention to yourself whether you want to or not. It's like you attract. This person was scared of change maybe because they didn't think that they could grow or heal something that happened with you. So there could have been a situation or altercation and someone may have been afraid that they wouldn't be able to heal something with you and they were scared. Maybe they were scared of the changes that were going to happen because you're very confident. They could have felt intimidated. So someone didn't want expect a rebirth or a change. Okay, so somebody was consumed by something with their intentions. And it could have been bad intentions, negative intentions, sexual intentions. So this could have been someone who had, like, intimate intentions with you. Maybe they enjoyed the intimate times with you. But they weren't necessarily ready for a rebirth or a change or a new beginning with you. But they were consumed. Consume is in the reverse. So they were consumed, even though they didn't want something to change, they were consumed by their intentions with you. Whether it was good or bad, depending on how you look at things, okay? Perception is reality. So, this person's intentions with you may have shifted or changed, changed or shifted unexpectedly, and maybe they were not expecting this. And they were not ready for a rebirth or to have a new beginning with you at the time. And now they may be wondering if they can grow something or heal something, but they're attracted to your confidence, to your charm. There's something that draws you near to them. There could have been a breakup of a family or a home situation as well, so they could have been having problems within their own home, or this could be within your home. Well, this could have been a situation where you shared a home with them and it broke up or there's a loss of family stability. There's conflict going on, so there's a lot of people fighting right now. Possibly over the breakup or the loss of family stability. Over someone losing their stability. 
someone didn't get the new start that they were expecting. So if somebody chose to try to have a stable family with somebody, it didn't work out. The Ace of Pentacles, there was not a new start, a new beginning. There was something that was unsuccessful about this, or somebody didn't get some sort of unexpected money that they may have been thinking they were going to get regarding some sort of family stability. And now there's a group of people who are in conflict amongst themselves. Possibly up to five people who are fighting, arguing, disagreeing on what to do, how to proceed. They didn't get what they wanted. Judgment has been called because somebody didn't make you a love offer. So somebody could have chosen to not make you a love offer and have a new beginning with you. And this caused um, a collapse within their family stability. They were supposed to choose you, a divine femme or masculine. But somebody didn't offer you a cup of love. Somebody didn't want this new start or new beginning with you. And it could have affected their own stability. They were not focused on building a legacy with you. Maybe they thought that there wasn't a future with you or financial stability with you. So they didn't offer you a cup of love. Now they don't know how to heal this. So this could be conflict within a family unit or group within the community, but I feel like more it's like a family issue. <clears throat> Maybe their family wanted them to make a different choice or a different offer um, to somebody else. Maybe they wanted this person to make you an offer and this person chose not to. They chose to have a new start, a new beginning with somebody else. And because of that decision, they could have lost their um, stability, family stability. If they tried to build a family elsewhere or have something with someone else, it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to because that was not their life's calling. That was not the plan for this person. They were keeping secrets. They um, chose someone else that they thought may have been their divine counterpart, and this caused a Scorpio ending. You're seen as someone who was held in high honor, so they could have chosen someone else because you were fighting a lot of conflict, okay? Or somebody was fighting a lot of battles and conflict, and this could have been their easy way out, so maybe somebody didn't just want to deal with conflict, so to keep the peace, they just made the easy decision instead of the right decision. You can expect some sort of communication. Somebody withheld a gift or took something that didn't belong to them. So someone tried to build a life with someone else. If this is a masculine and this is the male phallic, they took their one and gave it to someone who they were not supposed to. Um, it happens. Uh, but they withheld a gift from you or from being charitable from you or tried to take something that belonged to you. They withheld a gift. And there is a lot of conflict, so you could have needed help, maybe you were fighting a lot of battles on your own, and this person was not caring or compassionate towards you, and they withheld a gift that they were very able to give you. But they chose not to. I know I saw one flip over, now I have to find it. There we go. Yeah, this person didn't give you the offer that you've been waiting for, and they didn't get the offer that they'd been waiting for if they chose to work with somebody else, but you're the official person here, so there's a hierophant, or this is an official person, someone who is respectable, held in high honor, and I feel like this is your energy. There's an emperor here who's working really hard, so this could be a masculine, or you could be a feminine in your masculine energy. But there's a masculine who sees you working really hard. So this could be an official person. If this is not you, this could be um, your divine counterpart. They see you busting your ass, working hard, making do with what you have. So someone did something maybe they didn't travel towards you and so something stopped for them because they didn't bring you the offer that you'd been waiting for so maybe something stopped for them because they didn't travel towards you when they were supposed to because everything is in divine timing so they were supposed to take some sort of action and they did not a decision has been made and this is a karmic situation so this person chose to travel towards a karmic situation instead and not bring you your offer that you were supposed to get and so this person has to suffer the consequences and the karma that they brought upon themselves. And they could have done this because they were expecting to get some sort of money out of this or stop you from receiving some sort of money. There was a risky commitment here um, that somebody chose to engage in and they thought it was going to bring them some sort of finances. So they traveled towards someone else because they thought it was a better option financially for them. Yep, two of cups. 
this is somebody that you could have been partnered up with and or wanted to partner up with and so they partnered up with someone a karmic so someone partnered up with a karmic because they thought that it would bring them money finances so there was a decision here that was based on finances and financial security not love not divine connection not a soul connection none of that this was solely based on money someone thought they were thinking logically making head over heart decisions but they done fucked up because they chose a karmic we have a king of cups here I don't want to say they're emotionally stable. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. We have illusions that were created surrounding a treasure. And that came out right after the King of Cups. So I'm going to get a few more cards before I determine if this is this person's energy or this is someone else's energy. So there was illusions surrounding a treasure, ace of wands, a missing piece of information and barriers. So there's barriers in place for this king of cups because they were missing an important piece of information. They didn't realize they were not awakened. Their third eye may have been blocked. They didn't see you as a treasure because of some sort of illusion. So they could have been under a spell, love spell. Um, there could have been some magic involved in this. I don't like to automatically jump to that and assume that. But somebody was surrounded by illusions. They were not seeing clearly. So they were in a mental fog. They were missing the big piece of the puzzle here. Some sort of information. Someone was missing a very big piece of information. And maybe it was that um, they don't know about the divine counterparts or, you know, those soul connections or the twin flame journeys or, you know, how to see their divine counterpart when they're right in front of them and not fuck it up. Sometimes you have to listen to your heart and not always your head in a situation. But this person didn't see you as a treasure because of some sort of illusion that was created. Now this King of Cups is faced with a barrier standing in their path and something is frozen for this masculine. Maybe it's because they have to deal with this karmic situation they placed themselves in. It might not be easy to escape or get out of this situation. They may be bound to this person for some reason, whether it's marriage, child, contract. <clears throat> so someone was missing a very important piece of the puzzle, maybe as to why someone was in poverty. So if they were making decisions based on finances, and maybe you didn't have a whole lot of finances, um, they fucked up because they were missing the forest for the fucking tree, okay? You know, the closer you look, the less you see. So this person was so focused on money and just money that they did not see the bigger picture here. They did not see that you would have brought them happiness, that you would have been their ten of cups, that you were, you know, were, would have complimented each other, that this would have been a good divine union to take place, at least at one time. I can't promise you, the further we get in here, maybe we'll find out more, but I can't promise you that's still the case. But at one time, it was the case. Um, this person didn't see the bigger picture because they were so focused on the stupid microscopic detail. It's like they were looking so close at that one fucking tree, that one aspect of the whole forest, that they missed the beauty and the splendor of the whole rest of the forest. Like, they just did not appreciate what was standing right in front of them. And it's really sad. It is really sad when people can't, you know, but, you know, not everybody awakens at the same time. So I don't want to put all the blame on this person, but it's kind of their fault. But, you know, they didn't awaken when you did. You know, they were not enlightened as you are. You know, they say women mature faster than men. I, I feel like that may, you know, I have no science to back it up. Don't, don't quote me on it, but... Um, that may be the case for spirituality as well. You know, sometimes men awaken before their masculine counterpart does, you know, just, I don't know. I don't know why that happens. It's kind of ironic because if men were created first and there's, <laughs> and they're supposed to be the ones, this is probably why God made a female. It's like, man, you can't figure this out. You need someone to help you figure shit out because you're a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh man god's like man you're you're not figuring this shit out as quick as you need to you need a woman to tell you what the fuck is going on <laughs> 
Oh, maybe you tried to help this person, tried to educate them, tried to get them enlightened, and they didn't, you know, they didn't want to hear it at the time because they were comfortable. They didn't want things to change. You know, change is difficult for some people. Not everyone likes it, especially if they're a neurodivergent kind of person, you know. People get comfortable. <sighs> But, yeah, this masculine, they, there's an emotional situation that was created here. Somebody created an emotional situation. Somebody wants to come towards you with an offer, though, with the Knight of Cups. It's like they're, they created an, emotion, an emotional situation, or you were in an emotional situation, and now they want to come towards you with this offer. Somebody wants to express some sort of emotion. Maybe that they want to have a family with you or a group with you. Five of Wands. So there's someone here. And it could also be that this person traveled. This person created an emotional situation because they traveled towards somebody because a group supported that decision. Okay, I got to read it both ways. So... And that's kind of the way I'm seeing it, is this person created an emotional situation because they traveled towards someone that this group supported as their option, as their divine counterpart, even though that wasn't the case. So somebody was influenced, someone like gave into peer pressure or gave into pressure from a group about what decision to make, especially who they wanted to partner up with. And that is how this emotional situation came to be, is they they were influenced by a group of people or a family. King of Wands here. They're at a crossroads. They have a decision to make. They had a decision to make, and they ended up creating an emotional situation because this person traveled towards someone based on a group's opinion on what they should do. This person is restless. Maybe they needed a little help making a decision, right? So someone got left out in the cold, and this could have been you. And so a cycle was closed out based on a decision that they chose to make, okay? So you could have chosen to close the cycle out, never to return again. You know, it's over and done with. <clears throat> or they chose this with you. And they caused you to be hurt by leaving you out in the cold, out in the Five of Pentacles. So they created this whole shit storm for themselves and for you. And so you're just like, okay, cool, I'm hurt, I'm going to move on, I'm going to heal, I'm going to do this, that, and the other but balance has to be restored. This person is supposed to make this up to you possibly in this lifetime because I'm guessing there is a soul connection here whether this person wants to admit it or not. You knew this person probably in a past life. They need to be compassionate to you and this person may want to be compassionate to you. But they gave a gift to someone else or they gave their wand to someone else and so they could have a child or children with somebody else. But balance has to be restored. So there may be a breakup or, you know, a lack of instability within their home. If they had children with this person, if they had a family with this person, this person's marriage is in chaos um, because they weren't supposed to give their wand to this person. That was your wand. Luck is on your side and you have victory. There's something here that's being brought to light. This person came under judgment for a decision that they made. You know, you both were learning your lessons. You both, you know, at some point had some sort of karmic debt to pay. You may have paid yours off, but this person, they're a hard learner, okay? I'm not going to lie. These masculines, you know, you could be an empress here who's fighting off a lot of conflict on your own, and they're not doing shit to help you. And they were supposed to fucking help you. They were supposed to be your counterpart. They were supposed to be your partner. They were supposed to be your person to help you out, um... And they chose not to. This is a challenge here. Is you're doing this shit on your own. You and God. While they're busy playing house with somebody else. And they fucked up. That's why life is not good for them. Someone's in despair. Because the start that they thought they were going to get. This new beginning with this other person. It didn't work out. They chose the wrong horse. They bet on the wrong horse. They, Like I said they're a hard learner. You know. And I'm not going to say that at one time you weren't. You may still be. However, <laughs> you pick up on shit faster. Um, divine Femme, whoever you are. You're, you pick up on things a little bit quicker than this masculine does. <laughs> I feel like that kind of goes along with that, you know. Um, 
masculine not picking shit up and God saying, all right, you need a partner, you need a female to tell you what the fuck's going on because you're just not seeing the picture. But now this person may be seeing the picture and they may be in despair because they see you having a victory or they know that their victory would be with you and, you know, they, they made a, a wrong decision, a bad decision. They chose to give their Ace of Cups to, you know, a Queen of Wands. So, you know, there was a Queen of Wands here who was supposed to get an offer or didn't get an offer, depending on if they're in the upright or not. It could just be past energy, whether they were supposed to make this person an offer. Um, Seven of Cups, yeah, okay, so... Someone was supposed to make a Queen of Wands an offer and see them as a treasure, but that may not have been the case here. Or they could have lost a treasure because they made that Ace of Cups offer to somebody they were not supposed to with their wand, you know what I'm saying? Move on. All right, this one may be a shorter read. But we're just gonna jump into the messages here and see what message cards come out. Looking at your photo in the reverse, <clears throat> someone could be someone could be in regret. Maybe they're looking at your photo. Maybe they're not looking at your photo. Someone needs to watch their spending here. They said they were single to get you. So, you know, someone may have said that they were over you before they jumped into this other situation or relationship. Someone needs to watch their spending uh, because someone lied about being single either to get you or they were with you when they hooked up with somebody else. And they, they could have maybe not been thinking about you when they did this. And someone needs to watch their spending because um, they could be in for a financial loss. Or someone did take a financial loss. This person, something is about money and finances. So someone has to watch their money and finances because they made a decision based on money and finances, not love, not how it's supposed to work out, not who they should have been with. Um, and because of that, they could suffer financially. So someone needs to watch their spending because they were not thinking of you and they were not necessarily single. So it's like maybe they were reminiscing about you, but they're attached to this karmic that they have to get rid of before they can come towards you. Either way, this person's going to suffer financially because of what they did. And you're too blessed to be stressed. So you're not really concerned or someone is not really concerned at this time. You're blessed, even if you don't feel like it or seem like it. Um, you know, things work out for you. Um, this person did not use their intuition. So someone did not use their intuition. When they looked at your photo, when they had those feelings, when they had those emotions towards you, they were supposed to make a different decision than what they made. You know, and everyone has free will. So it's, you know, it happens. They were not telling you the truth in the reverse. So somebody didn't tell the truth. They didn't use their intuition. They're like, oh, I'm happy here. This is who I love. This is who I want to be with. This is my family. That's not what happened, though. That's that's not how it really was. Because they were looking at your photo, wishing they could be with you, even though that they were not single. But they couldn't be with you because they didn't want things to change because they were too worried about money. That's a lot of cards. Okay. But everything is in divine timing someone is trying to take credit for someone else's work and they're full of hot air so this could be someone that's trying to compete with you the person that they partnered up with they might know that this person wants to be with you and so they could be trying to imitate you or copy you and this person's like okay well maybe i did make the right decision because this person is a lot like this other person um but they're really not they're just fucking crazy they're not seeing something clearly you aren't seeing something clearly they're not seeing clearly find someone to love you i don't okay so this person really doesn't love them they're not seeing it clearly because they could be under a love spell fortune favors the brave they didn't try to set you up so you may have thought that um someone thought that they were being set up this person could have maybe thought that you were trying to set them up um by causing them to like cheat on their spouse but maybe you were with this person first Someone doesn't think something is serious, that there's no consequences, it's not a big deal. 
They didn't help you when you needed them. Okay? They did not help you. You needed help. They didn't help you. You could be receiving unexpected money or an inheritance. Don't believe what you hear. Or someone heard this about you. But there's competition that you don't know about. So someone is trying to compete with you for this money or an inheritance. Or for this relationship. And someone could be seeing dollar signs. <clears throat> someone is saying, I can't see you. So this may have been... You know, you were supposed to be picked. You were supposed to be the person that's supposed to, that they were supposed to be with, right? So there was competition. This person decided to throw you out in the Five of Pentacles, and they pissed everyone off. Pissing everyone off is a piece of cake. And by the way, these came all out sideways. <clears throat> and your instincts are on point with a sibling. If you think a sibling has been working with your ex, communicating with them, feeding them information about you, you're correct. Or, if you feel like your sibling is fucking around with your ex, or <clears throat> they chose your sibling over you, if there was some sort of sibling rivalry going on here, um, your instincts are on point, and they made the wrong choice. If they had a choice between, like, two sisters or two brothers, whatever, um, something didn't work out, because life's a bitch. Someone's praying for a Hail Mary pass. How do I get the fuck out of this? Um, someone was afraid of his or her own shadow. So someone was afraid and they made a decision based on fear. And now they're praying for a way to get out. Now these came out sideways. Someone hold your tongue. Go for broke. Equal give and take. So someone is secretly trying to keep it hidden that um, they're broke. They want an equal give and take. But they can't have that with someone who's a dime a dozen. And August could be significant here. So someone's birthday could be in August. A significant event could be in August. But um, somebody wants an equal give and take. But they went broke because there is no equal give and take here. This person's a dime a dozen. Um, you know, this was never supposed to happen or supposed to be. But, you know, <clears throat> maybe it was. You know, the glitch in the system. I don't know. I don't claim to know everything. Nor do I necessarily want to know everything. Um, sometimes deviations, like say you and this person were together, you separated, had children with two different other people. Um, had you stayed together and had one child, then those other two children would not exist. So was that the plan all along? I don't know. That's a little philosophy, a little food for thought. Maybe this was all supposed to happen this way. I don't know. But they had a choice to make, you had a choice to make, and, um, you know... There are people in this world that are breathing maybe because of the decisions that you made that maybe wouldn't be here if you hadn't made these decisions. You know what I'm saying? So try to look at the silver lining here, okay? Um, you know, just because someone took their wand and gave it to someone else instead of you, you know, um, if they didn't want to contract with you, there's, um, there's someone else that can make you happy. Appreciate what you have. <clears throat> be happy for the blessings that you have someone's dealing with a fine kettle of fish there's a group of people here so this can involve a school a group of people you know a bunch of women in this person's ear telling them what would be the best thing for them something was you know not a blessing in disguise but maybe it kind of was because i just said all that you know what i'm saying like Something didn't look like a blessing in disguise at the time with a Gemini. Um, because someone thinks that something is like stealing candy from a baby. So this could be a Gemini who's a thief trying to steal something important from you, a treasure. Um, maybe you have a child with this person. You know, maybe you had a child with them before you split up or something. Um, and they're supposed to be with you, blast from the past. So, you know, something is being recreated from the past. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde just joking that was being that was sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> fucking mercury retrograde man every fucking time the past will come back to haunt you this goddamn gemini is trying to take something from someone <clears throat> and it's a treasure something that you hold valuable and someone thinks they hold the power under his or her thumb so someone thinks that they're in control here someone from your past thinks they can take something from you, and they think that they have control of this situation. They didn't expect something, though. Because against all odds, something is still gonna... Something is gonna work out different than this person expects. 
This person has some karma to pay for because they're under judgment. You saw the light, they didn't. You know, um, so while you could have come out of the woods and beat the odds and, you know, you see things as a blessing in disguise, that's not how this person sees things because perception is reality. So they still have lessons to learn, right? So someone is going to be happy as a clam by the summertime. Um, an Aries. It did say place for the other team. So this person was your op. They are doing something shady and underhanded to you. That's their choice, okay? And they can pay the karma for their choices they make, okay? You're going to move on with your life. But you're going to be happy. If you're an Aries, you're going to be happy as a clam by summertime. Because you're not putting up with shit not in my backyard, okay? You're not dealing with the bullshit. Mm-mm. mm mm mm, -mm, -mm. <clears throat> Something was too tough to do, a tough road to host. So something was too hard to accomplish, especially if they were trying to have some sort of victory over you. All they did was piss people off. So something was too hard, and people ended up pissed off in the reverse. These dishonorable people, this group, this family. Something was just too hard. They made a bad decision, so... It happens... All right, that's a lot. Why do all of these keep coming out? So someone who is, okay, and this keeps coming out on top, so I'm just going to take it, arrest. Someone could be getting arrested. Someone lost their temper. They were angry, and it could have been these group of dishonorable people or this family because you're the jack of all trades. Someone was waiting for the other shoe to drop. You learned your lessons. These people were a wolf at the door. Justice is blind. They tried to do something shady. Birds of a feather flock together. This group, this family tried to do some shady shit within the justice system. So if you had a child with this person, of course, they tried to come back and do some bullshit. So say you went to court for custody with this person, they tried to bring that old shit back up. Three strikes, you're out. They didn't want to see the light. Like father, like son. Okay, so you have a child with this person or children with this person. They didn't want to see the light. They didn't count their blessings. Now they're facing trial, trials and tribulations because they didn't choose to kiss and make up with you, okay? They were supposed to. They didn't. Someone is judging a book by its cover. Um, they didn't want to forgive and forget a tower moment. So maybe they blame you for a tower moment they're experiencing, but they brought this tower moment upon themselves because they did not want to forgive and forget. They can, they can expect a big tower moment to come hit them, okay? Because you learned your lessons. You're good. You're good. Over and over, you learn your lessons. You may be a hard learner too, but you learned your lessons. This person's yeah, harder not to crack, okay? Person, place, or thing, L could be significant. LG, so something technology, LG phone, LG appliances, washer and dryer, something could be significant regarding LG. You, some sort of luggage could be significant as well. Z, lugs or uggs could be significant. Lug, is it ugg boots, lugs boots? I thought, I think there's a lugs too. X, H, Another H. D. Something is in high definition or someone is starting to see things way clearer than they thought. Um, R. HDR could be significant. Oh, getting a hard drive could be significant. Um, drama mean a ship, a cruise could be significant, and I. Okay, so I have L G U Z X H K H D R O I M. I hope this helps. Have a good day.